we're honored that you would think of Sierra Leone to come for this visit. Um, we've already shared the news of your visit with His Excellency. He's very delighted that you're here. We also have a, a, other Gambian leaders here as well. So we share very deep bonds with the people of your country, not just in terms of culture, but history, people to people exchange. Um, and you are a manifestation of, of that deep relationship that we enjoy with the people of Gambia and your education here. We went to the same school, the Albert Academy, uh, <laughs> but uh, on a much more serious note, I look forward to learning about how we can strengthen and deepen our relationship. So on our side, we have some huge agenda items. But the primary task, um, um, my brother, Honorable Minister, is to really break the silos and bring the government to the people. Our most sacred task is to provide accurate, timely, responsive, reliable, and truthful information to the people of this country and to make sure that they can verify that information at will. <laughs> And they know that they can trust the information that we provide. And we provide it in ways that the people need and want. So we're not trying to get the people to change their habits to consume our information. But we find out what the habits of the people are and structure the public information to meet the people where they are. All I can say is you're welcome. We're excited to have you here. We, we are honored that you have chosen to come to us to have this. We look forward to eventually also returning the courtesy. I look forward to coming to the Gambia and enjoying uh, your own hospitality as well.